Three years ago, we were sitting as an unacceptable school according to our um, tax test, that is the Texas Assessment of Knowledge and Skills. There's been big changes going on. Mostly, um, our whole focus, our gear, has been understanding the SE. It's just changed our way of uh, teaching, our way of working together, having data to help us about our strengths and our weaknesses. I think part of the unifying factor has been um, focusing in on why they're there every day and looking at the curriculum and what we refer to as the SEs, the student expectations for that particular discipline. But every time we teach world history, we need to be looking at outlines and visuals and graphs and charts and timelines and Through the collaboration of the, the PLCs, they also learn from the strengths of the other people that are on their team. And they're able to bring and experiment with some of those elements within their classroom. It's all about how to be um, better at what we do. So, and I feel we're com comfortable enough. All the time I go to Mayfield and um, Mr. Alvarado, I go to their room sometimes. They, go to, they come to me and we talk to each other about um, how to implement the SC. So the whole collaborative effort just really enriches the, the teaching spectrum and then consequently enriches the experience for the students in the classroom. But as you can see, like all teachers had similar performances. We break down all the SEs and we look at which questions were those SEs. Then we look at what were the highest percentages and what were the weakest percentages and then many times we have the aha moment. Okay, that's question six. So that's the one that we assumed we would, that's the question we thought was a bad question. We're testing every, um, every two weeks so then the data is then brought back to us um, almost immediately and then they reflect on it. 25C is the 50%. 25C is question one and two. Is that the timeline? No. That's no. the okay. Like she said, approximately aggression, they don't know. Right. So I think we need to, you know, spend more time in the, doing some vocabulary enrichment activity with them. And maybe even just going through little one and two paragraph articles like that to say, okay, what's it mean? Mm -hmm. Read this and which one of these? I think for students, it creates a, a more dynamic learning situation. Um, teachers have are continuing to move uh, away from the, the sit and get uh, modalities of, of instruction. That there's more interaction, there's more group work. Just more hands-on activities with the kids. Mm -hmm make more assessment in that way, not so much quizzes and tests, but showing us in class. Okay, Eric, tell me Turn why. right there, right. turn right there from that time. Okay, it's right there from that time period. Yes, Tesley? Because as they collaborate, they discover perhaps they, uh, a teacher in their own practice has become stuck in rut and they're challenged to move outside of their comfort zone to try something new and that's beneficial for the student. Collaboration allows for you to get to know more about the students. When you collaborate with the teachers or we collaborate as a leadership team, then we discuss things that we have discovered and we share that with the other members so that it allows another teacher to understand the student and to get to know the student a little bit better. If I can see that a colleague is doing extremely well on a particular SE, then I can go to that. I feel because of the PLC that I have an open line of communication to go to that particular teacher and ask, well, what are you doing differently? Teachers no longer see themselves as uh, an island. They no longer see themselves being isolated. That I'm in my own little kingdom when I'm in my classroom. And they see themselves as a part of a 
much larger living organism, this campus, and they see themselves as a vital part of that, that they are an important component. For me, I feel encouraged. I feel like I'm doing my job. I feel like I want to continue to um, help the kids achieve, and that's the whole purpose. For further information, please contact the National Staff Development Council. Brought to you by the School Improvement Network.